I mean, you, it's obviously you, a bit you've of a dichotomy like, because our rockets do produce carbon. You know, uh, true. Like, oh, what a hypocrite! You know? True, no, no, uh, we, we uh, got. He's obviously <laughs> just he's obviously just in for the money. Um, but uh, <laughs> I feel I should address this. This uh, right. aren't you being a hypocrite by launching rockets that that produce carbon? The problem is uh, right now there is there's really no way to get around the physics of a rocket. I think it's important for the long term preserva preservation and and ultimately the expansion and extension of the, the, the scope and scale of consciousness and the long-term uh, probability of survival of humanity and life as we know it, we must become a multi-planet species. Because there are all these risks that we can't control. Yeah, existential risks. There's all these Asteroid existential strikes. Risks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like... Super volcanoes. You know, we could do, a, a, you know, we could have a World War Three uh, or something, you know. There's, like, I'm optimistic about the future, but you, but you could also say like, okay, well, so how long do you think civilization will last before there's a catastrophic event? If you say infinity, you're, this is not correct. This is, this is not, uh, history does not suggest that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just we do dumb things to our civilizations all the time. This is the ancient Egyptians, the Romans, ancient Romans, where are they now? Where, 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 let's do the video series. Where, where are they now? Yeah, so the Babylonians, peak. Sumerians, yeah. The, yeah, you name it, you know. So, so there's uh, been many civilizations that have risen and fallen. And anyway, we've we got to preserve, uh, we've got to become multiplanetary. And, and right now, the only way to do that is with, with rockets that uh, do burn fuel. But we do have a long term plan for sustainability of, um, of even rocket flights uh, by uh, generating uh, propellant uh, using using sustainable energy, wind and solar, mm -hmm. uh, to generate, starting first with uh, liquid oxygen. And for our Starship vehicle, it's uh, almost 80% liquid oxygen yeah. uh, and 20% um, liquid methane. The oxygen, it's obviously pretty easy to create that. Uh, you just use wind and solar electricity and you do air, air separator, because you've got the oxygen already in the air, the plants are making the oxygen. So you can use just, you can just use electricity, basically, renewable electricity to create 80% of the propellant on the rocket. And then for the remaining 20%, uh, you can use the body process where you take, you actually take CO2 out of the atmosphere and you combine that with water to create CH4 and, and more O2. Yep. And that's in fact what we would do on Mars sure. to generate propellant. Sure. So, so, so there is a long-term plan for sustainable generation of propellant uh, for the rockets. I do want to emphasize that. And if there's some, if there's some other way to do that now, we, we certainly would. Try, try to sort of address this apparent inconsistency in, um, you know, if generating carbon is bad, why, why are you doing that with rockets?